Welcome back to Breakaway, everyone. I'm Jen Dwyer. And as you know, our show is about highlighting businesses, people, and organizations that are stepping up and making a difference. And the United Way is doing just that. They are now worldwide in 48 countries with a mission to unite people and resources to better strengthen a community. And with me now is Jenny Moorbutter, and she is the Executive Director of the United Way Tar River Region. Jenny, thank you so much for being with us. Absolutely. Glad to be here. Now, Jenny, the United Way really does so much to positively impact a community. Mm -hmm. And if you were to pick out a few areas of concentration, what would they be? United Ways are involved in a lot of different aspects. We have three major focus areas or impact areas. We're focusing in on education, health, mm -hmm. and income and independence. Um, we believe those are the building blocks for a stronger and uh, a better community mm -hmm. and for a better life for our local citizens. So those are, those are really our three what we call impact areas. And those are areas that we're focusing on locally mm -hmm. and they're looked at nationally as well through the United Way worldwide and internationally now as you mentioned, in 48 different countries. And we believe those will really help build a stronger community. Sure. And as you said, locally in the Tar River region, one of the areas that the United Way is really focusing on is the Community Impact Program. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, each United Way looks at local needs, and our, our local United Way has done that as well. We did a, a mm -hmm. local needs assessment in 2008. From that, we developed a Community Impact Plan. That Community Impact Plan looks at those three areas I just talked about, education, health, mm -hmm. and income and independence, and it looks at um, creating programs and strategies around those areas, linking up with um, nonprofit agencies that can provide programs mm -hmm. that will address the pressing needs in those three areas. And our impact plan addresses how we will look at community goals and target strategies to move forward in those three areas. And I'll set this, this, this stage for the future for our, our local United Way. And Jenny, you mentioned linking up with nonprofit organizations. <laughs> How is it that the United Way goes about choosing those different organizations to partner with? Mm -hmm. Each local United Way gets to look at the needs in our, in our own community, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And by looking at those needs, we then will look in the community to see what agencies and programs can best meet and address those needs. Mm -hmm. So that is how we all choose our local um, partner programs that mm -hmm. we work with. And our end goal is that we're going to fund programs um, that will target those, those areas of need and that will help improve our local communities. Yeah. And so what specifically in the Tar River region are some of the organizations that you partner with? We have 21 funded partners that we work directly mm -hmm. with and, and some of them many people have heard about their you know, international organizations mm -hmm. as well, the American Red Cross, the sure. Boys and Girls mm -hmm. Club, a lot of people have heard of those Meals on Wheels programs. Mm -hmm. um, we touch all quality of life issues. We have some smaller organizations too and each local community will fund you know, local programs, um, programs like Association for Learning Disabled and handicapped, mm -hmm. voice, um, the Hospice Foundation of Edgecombe County. Mm -hmm. um, they're all local to our Twin County region. And that's the nice thing about United Way is that we get to look at the local needs and really make sure that we um, can choose those programs that are going to best address those needs. And another um, aspect of the United Way that I found was very interesting was the NC211 yes. program. Tell us a little bit about that. The NC211 program came out of our needs assessment as well. We heard from local community members that, you know, that our area needed one place where a community member could find mm -hmm. health and human resources. And through, by, through a phone call to 211, just by dialing 211, or visiting the website, which is um, www nc211.org. Uh -huh. You can you can uh, find help and human resources uh, in the twin counties. Uh -huh. The nice thing is that a number of our counties in eastern North Carolina also have 211, and we can uh, have this available to our our local community members free of charge. And, and in that, Jenny, there is a lot of need for volunteers, correct? So tell us how somebody could volunteer with the United Way. Sure. NC211 is a great resource for that. Mm -hmm. Not only can you get help by going to NC211, you can also get great volunteer opportunities. Mm -hmm. Also, you can visit our website, and most local United Ways have volunteer opportunities that yeah. you can access. So we'll listen to what the volunteer needs are and help link local um, members up with those opportunities. And we have students, we have adults, we have a number of people that look for volunteer opportunities. Sure. 
And if you would like to know more about United Way and get involved, be sure to visit their website at unitedway.org, where you can go on there and find out how to get involved in your local United Way. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.